that long ago that Kerry Lake was rumored to be on the short list as a potential VP pick for Mr. Donald Trump. But tonight she was one of a long list of Republican Senate candidates who took the floor and have been speaking here for over the past hour. And judging from the crowd's reaction, Lake is still very much a popular figure with the Republican crowd here. It was a brief speech that Lake gave. It lasted about six to seven minutes. And her remarks focused on many of those themes that she's already very well known for, like like uh, bashing on the media, border security, which of course means building the wall. It doesn't have to be this way. The problems we face are huge. The problems caused by the Democrat Party. But the solutions, guys, they're really simple. First of all, stop the Biden invasion and build the wall. And while we're building the wall, let's kick Bidenomics to the curb and bring back the Meganomics. Is that okay? I miss the strong Trump economy. Blake also led the crowd in a chant of build the wall. And over the past several days, we've heard a lot of talk about the need to change the tone and avoid extreme, sometimes violent rhetoric in politics. We know speakers have been making changes to their planned speeches to make sure they had that right tone. But the Arizona delegation is being led by someone who just said that she wants to see Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richard lynched. So we asked two members of the Arizona delegation what they thought about that. But what do you think about that kind of rhetoric? There's no place for that kind of rhetoric. I'm sorry. She, I don't. She introduced the delegation. She's getting. She was the chairman of the delegation. Yes. I, I don't believe that uh, anybody has tried to kill anybody on the other side of the aisle. So uh, let's focus on the guys who are the problem. On the what? Let's focus on the guys who are the problem. Let's, let's focus on the guys who are trying to indict our candidate, throw them in jail so the American people are deprived of a real choice, and then when they can't do that, they're trying to kill them. Let's focus on those guys and their rhetoric first. Then we can talk about us. And Lake also used some time in her speech, obviously, to rip into her Democratic opponent, Ruben Gallego. By all accounts, this is expected to be a close race, and it also happens to be one of the most watched political races throughout the country this year. Reporting live here in Milwaukee, Dennis Welch for Arizona's Family. We'll send it back into you. All right, Dennis.